Climate change is unarguably one of the biggest challenges that our generation must face. If not managed properly and if not decelerated, it might have a quite astonishing uh, undesired impact on ecosystems and populations worldwide. The Hydrogen Horizon Automotive Challenge is a program that lets students tackle the problem of global climate change by using STEM to explore renewable energy solutions. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So what's a STEM program like H2AC? More than anything, it's a creative process in which you will explore, experiment, and create solutions to complex problems. In H2AC, we use science to explore the phenomenon of global climate change. The main technology you'll be using is the hydrogen fuel cells that power your car, while you'll use engineering to modify your car and improve efficiency to make it run better. You will also need to use logical thinking to effectively analyze data and numbers and to work with graphs, so math is indispensable. So let's get to work, guys. And what exactly is your task? You have three phases to this project. First, it's about defining the problem, which takes two weeks. During this phase, we'll examine a big, real-world problem, in this case, climate change. Společnost Horizon nám poskytla pro učitelů škole tento výborný energy box. Využíváme ho při výuce a ukázalo se nám, díky tomu, že mohou naši žáci experimentovat a testovat pomocí toho energy boxu, že výuka jenom pomocí knih, které jsou nezbytné, a pomocí testů, které musíme dělat, není tak zábavná, jako když spojíme výuku s nějakou zábavou v rámci projektu. The second phase is all about building a solution, which takes six weeks. This is where the real action starts. First, you'll assemble your car's chassis. Afterwards, you'll learn how to use Autodesk software to create a design for the car's body. From Autodesk, you can easily export any parts into cross sections. The third and final phase is testing your solution, which also lasts for six weeks. You will learn what your car is capable of and pinpoint its performance limitations. During this time, you can make adjustments to your car's many parts, as well as learn how to effectively drive it, which is essential. This process is about fine-tuning adjustable parts and identifying and fixing parts that are likely to break. The cars have to be fuel efficient, and drivers have to know how long they can go between refills of hydrogen. It's an endurance race, not a sprint. The cars have to keep running for six straight hours. At the end of this phase, the team will submit a final design report, in addition to videos and other materials they create during their work. And now, it's time for the race. D-Day, the race is here. Check out the rush, excitement, teamwork, and the thrilling atmosphere. This is the day when all your hard work finally pays off. This year, we organized H2AC events in Florida, France, and the Czech Republic. It was awesome. We definitely gave it our best. Závodem noci se mi líbily hlavně proto, že byla tma, dobrá atmosféra, svítily auta všechno, bouračky byly lepší. A bylo to prostě super. Definitely an adrenaline rush. However, we are getting a lot of interest from Asia and are also looking to expand into other European nations and US states as well. So don't worry if there isn't a race in your area just yet. We always hear great stories from students that have participated. And even better, we know that nearly everyone who participates wants to come back next year. Je dobře, že se naši kluci rozhodli do soutěže tohoto typu jít, protože se ukázalo, že mají smysl pro racionální technická řešení. Designing cars isn't actually as difficult as I thought it would be. I haven't really seen our son so excited about something academic before. Rozhodli jsme se podpořit tento program, protože výborně rozvíjí spolupráci mezi školami a průmyslem. Tento program je skvělým příkladem toho, jak mladé lidi motivovat a nadchnout je pro vědu a jejich budoucí kariéru. Zaměřujeme se na spolupráci se všemi věkovými kategoriemi a v neposlední řadě pořádáme tréninkové programy pro vysokoškoláky a motivujeme k 
tomu, aby kariérně rostly. I finally understand it now when someone says that science can be fun. I've learned so much. I can't wait to do it again next year. Program H2AC je skvělý způsob, jak je podpořit. Poptávka po pracovní síle v oblasti STEM obecně roste a my jsme velmi šťastní, že můžeme dát mladým lidem prostor a potom jim nabídnout novou práci v této oblasti. We have created this program by involving as many different parts of society as possible. We have the high school students, their teachers, we have post-secondary education where undergraduates are mentoring the high school students, hence building a bridge between high school and post-secondary education. We've involved non-profit organizations, uh, we have involved corporate sponsors and uh, local decision makers from the public sector. Students' average knowledge of renewable energy concepts before participating in H2AC is 41%. After the program, it's risen to 80%. And after participating in H2AC, the overwhelming majority of students reported that they were more interested in attending college, majoring in STEM fields, and pursuing STEM careers. The H2AC program is currently run in three different continents, North America, Europe, and Asia Pacific. We're currently looking for partners to join us and help us develop and scale the program to reach and impact more students. However, the program is about the students. We are growing a program that is sparking the interest, growing and developing future professionals, scientists and engineers that have a passion to go out and change the future, to design solutions to the biggest challenges of the 21st century. We are currently educating the last generation that has the potential to go out and save the world. The grand challenge of the 21st century awaits. Can your students take it on? Could your community support them? Will your business help them achieve their goals? Contact us today to find out how you can help. <laughs>